Vigilante Winston here with a very simple question, and that is, what do people want? What more do you want from me? <laughs> I ask that because Malika Andrews is being much maligned by the internet because she brought up Brandon Miller's potential criminal past or at least his involvement with a potential murder after he was just drafted by the Charlotte Hornets as number two pick. I thought they might go with Scoop, but they went with Brandon Miller. Um, and everyone is killing her and she hates black men. But we're a week after, maybe a week and a half after John Morant gets his suspension and it's 25 games and the internet is screaming. He was not suspended enough games. Oh my God, they should spend the more games. Let's actually take stock of what we can say legally, right? To my knowledge, even though there were some alleged confrontations that John Morant may have had with someone at uh, his sister's school, and I think someone involved with his mom, disrespecting his mom, no one got harmed, to my knowledge. To my knowledge, I don't believe anyone was physically harmed. I think there was another kid. John Red did have a lot of different incidents, but despite those incidents I'm talking about, most of the ire John Morant had were from Instagram videos. From Instagram videos, while maybe foolish, no one was harmed. But internet consensus is he needed to be suspended more games. That's something I don't agree with. I know I didn't make a video because I'm behind. That notwithstanding, everyone on the internet, and that's an exaggeration, obviously, it's not everyone, but most of the internet outside of Gilbert Arenas, which is very ironic given his past with guns in the locker room, but the entire internet said John Morant for showing a gun, which may or may not have been a lighter, which may or may not make it worse. You deserve your whole season, multiple seasons. Oh my God, you need to be suspended multiple seasons because you showed a gun on the internet. Allegedly, from what I can tell, Brandon Miller potentially drove a gun to a scene in which a murder was committed. Now, he's not being legally charged with anything, but on stock, on what is being alleged, that is way worse. So given the context of being only a week after John Morant was suspended, when Malika Andrews asked how is the criminal situation Brandon Miller got himself in going to affect him as a player, that is a legit journalistic question. And I get this. I get there's something to be said about the messenger. I'm not the biggest Malika Andrews fan myself. She does seem to have an agenda when it comes to men, especially men of a particular shade. That said, it's a fair question. If you don't want to be asked about on your draft day or you don't want it to be brought up on your draft day that you may or may not have been involved with a murder, you shouldn't be involved with a murder. And again, he's not being charged. And I'm not trying to malign Brandon Miller. I'm actually going to make another video, hopefully, uh, bigging him up for something he said. Um, but I, I don't think this is a consistent argument. That's where I'm confused. Internet, I know everyone's an NPC and they program people and it's like, we have this opinion and this is our opinion. And then here comes another opinion and there's no consistency to it. So I don't get it. Are, are guns bad or, or good? Internet, tell me, please. Cause I can't think for myself. Like this doesn't make any sense. If you're, and I'm seeing the same platforms, the same platforms who said the suspension for John Morant was too light are going at Malika Andrews for bringing up this guy's criminal potential past. I don't think that's a bad question to ask. We can't have it both ways. Can somebody make this make sense to me? That's why I got the uh, Hannibal Burris, why are you booing me, I'm right thing. Like, she is correct to ask this question. Everyone understands that, right? It's literally a week or two after John Moran and everyone's all oh, Malika Andrews, black men. And, and listen, I get it. We are in a very sensitive time. I think a lot, any group, no matter who you are, and I'm a brother, I'm a black man, right? And I'm sick of a lot of the, the, the black man bashing. And there are people of other groups who are sick of themselves being bashed. And, and it's understandable to stand up for yourself when, when it's wrongful. I don't think this is a bashing or a wrongful question. To me, this is not a situation like what's going on with Jonathan Majors or Michael Irvin, where the court of public opinion is killing them, despite there being evidence to the contrary and what they've been accused of. And I get it. Malika Andrews does have a track record, but the question was solid to me. 
somebody please i didn't mean to rant there but somebody please make this make sense and oh before anyone of another race comes in and say oh well, you're so sensitive and oh da, 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 da. listen i saw a bunch of people cry about a fucking mermaid so you have no place to argue that notwithstanding if you like the video please like the video if you're so obliged to share and subscribe please do that and even if you do none of these things thank you for watching thank you for your time good night and god bless peace